21 years ago, Eric became my patient, then my friend, and then I became part of the family. Not a week goes by, maybe not a day goes by when we don't talk, text, or write. And I told his mother and father that if they dropped me, I would sue them for malpractice. <laughs> it gives me sad joy to say that one of the greatest gifts of my career is knowing Eric and his family, yet I would never have met them had it not been for a tragedy. I don't know if we could have him at home with us if he was able to get up and around. There. He'd be very hard to handle. Since his reasoning skills are a little bit, a wee mm -hmm. bit impaired, <laughs> you know, there's a safety issue. I wouldn't say sad, I would say sometimes thoughtful. Yeah, no yeah, we're, okay. yeah we're very reflective sometimes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Being smart. Even if he's like, just like this forever and ever and ever, that's fine too. <laughs> so we can't walk, or just yet anyway, I don't know if he ever will. Really good at tic tac toe, and he's got this. It's not really a video game. It's a handheld game. Yes. It's like Simon. What he can do with his hands, even though they're so twisted, he yeah. can play himself. He can write. His writing is getting Good a little job. bit better. No. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the things that he does well. His rhyme. Rhyme and time. Yeah. He does rhyme very well. Hey, we have to take him home. It's just that's oh, the way it was. And we were willing to do that. That's it. Amazing. And you, and we were willing to change our lives yeah. for that effort. If you think back to Jamaica Hospital, when we were told, not by you, oh, yeah, yeah. but by some other prominent doctor, that there was really no chance, and however he would be at the moment of that discussion was how he would remain. And that's when he was in a coma. Yep, yep. And I was a big difference. And these things can always be predicted. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you have to do is not focus on disabilities. <laughs> but you have to... Not drugs. I only know Eric number one from your videos. His bat, his bar mitzvahs videos, his the photographs that Susan shown me, but I know only Eric number two. But Eric number two is really Eric number one, right? I mean, this is really what's him, right? Hey, Eric. You said you were Eric number two. Do you still feel like that? Number one. You you're back to one now. Yeah, oh, not right. What thing? Are you number one or number two? Number two. Number one. Number two or number one? Number two. You're still number two? Because yeah, I was actually following his uh, his data until uh, somehow it got into a washing machine. <laughs> but you were, you were upset that he thinks much better than you. But you know what? Every time he has a seizure, it's the strangest thing, and I think we've mentioned it to you, that something about him changes with every seizure. And yeah. even though the speech gets worse, there is more awareness, more cognitive ability. I got this one. Okay, go ahead. I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's Doc Susan over here. Are you no, kidding? No, no, no. <laughs> that what you have to do as doctors, which oh. is also something oh. that you always told us and you believe, is you listen to the family and you listen to the patient and you don't really just negate anything they say as nonsense, that you okay. really listen. Because we're the ones that are doing it 24 hours a day. Mm. So that kind of respect level has to be maintained. And once that happens, and that's the kind of deal I think is the reason why me, you, Susan, Eric, whatever, hit it off. Because of the respect level Aaron. that you have for the patient and the listening aspect that says, yeah, okay. I'm going to take what you have to say because, you know, I think you might be right too. When Eric first came home from the hospital, he had a cognitive ability of a five-year-old. Mm. So actually, I could teach him the same way that I was able to teach my children in school with a lot of the same methods. Mm. Be a little innovative. Try these things. We have them home. 
and you can absolutely do the lacing moment. He likes it. And I was told, I don't think you could do it. I hey, said, all right, why don't you just I'll sit there hey, you know. just try it. And he was pretty surprised. I think he has a special gift that he's given to all of us and that I would like other people to get something from him and get this, get this, I don't even know what it is. It's sort of a, it's in almost, it's in the atmosphere. <laughs> what did he just say? Yes. He said huh? yes. Yes. Let's replace walking. Talking. That we do. Talking, walking. <laughs> What's your name? That Eric just always remains happy. Smart. Sem and pretty healthy. And that we're all together for quite a while yeah. longer and don't have to make these life-changing decisions so exactly. quickly. I want to be here around some more, longer. Oh. Uh, and for two reasons, myself and Liz, <laughs> yes. you're our driving force. So um, I, do you think we could do the stuff without you? Maybe. I don't know. But I don't want to think that way. So um, uh, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, you. You could have done it. You could have done it without me. Oh, I, I couldn't I, have done it without well. you, though. Not as well. I'm, Any parting words? Seth. Sex. No, sex. <laughs> Thank you. So much. For being a part of our lives. Pain for in putting hand. up with us. And especially with Eric who said he's a pain in the ass pain just now. Pain in the hole. And um, actually, yes, being... Pain in the listener. Just being an inspiration and giving us all the ideas. May the ideas never stop. Tragic events bring people together. This I mourn still. But I would have also missed so much had we not all met. From the Theory of Memory by Louise Gluck. Great things, she said, are ahead of you or perhaps behind you. It is difficult to be sure. And yet she added, what is the difference? All the rest is hypotheses and dreams. Hey Eric, what do you what do you think about the movie? It sucks. It what? Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name? <laughs> <laughs> What's you, know, you know, I will tell you something. Um, I did a I did a um art on call on humor, yeah. and uh, I you know showed the area of brain that humor was involved with. I I, I think we preserved his uh, area of humor. <laughs> It's, it's too hard.